Tell the Rajim Kippur. The seven days, these seven days where the Kohen Gadol sequestered Mazen Olamei for Pora Pora, they would spray on him Bishlishi Laf Rishal Soi for the third from the third day of his separation. By Shri and the seventh day, which you have Yom Kippur, which is Erev Yom Kippur. So let's see what it says in the, in the Purish. Um, in order to become purified, Shem Anit Ramez, the refrain maybe he somehow became Tommy contaminated and impure from a dead person. Loyada, he doesn't know. Somebody is Tommy Ramez, on the third day and the seventh day, he has to spray on him. He has a mission of Zayt's humor. Here's a disagreement in the Brisa. Both the Kohen Gol of Yom Kippur and the one, also the person who, when they made another Pura, uh, Eva Pura, a Pura Duma, uh, they prepared that Kohen who was going to burn the Pura also for seven days. Every seven days, that's a, uh, during the seven days, they would spray twice on the third and the seventh day. And these are the words of Ramea. Have you your email? Have you said, Amazon, all over the Shlishi, Shri, Vilvad? Rabbi Yehuda says, uh, excuse me, Rabbi Yehuda says every single day. Rabbi Yehuda says only on the third and seventh day. Rabchanino, skana kehanim, we know. Rabchanino, skana kehanim, he was the assistant to kehanim, he was actually was present at the time of the Avoyed, he says, Koyin Azir was a poor of a mazan, all of called Shiva. The Koyin who, who was burning the poor Aduma, the E would be sprayed all seven days. Koyin Godel, we might keep him. A mazan olav el shlishi yeshvi. The kohen gadol and yom kippur they only did it on the third and the seventh. And because the mishnah says, since Rabbi Yisrael and Chanina both have the opinion that kohen gadol before yom kippur you only do it on the third and seventh day, not all seven days. Therefore, the Raman paskins that they are considered the majority uh, that you you spray on them on every day of the seven days. Therefore, the Raman Paskins, according to what they say. And he adds that even though Abiyasi would be an individual and the disagreement here would be Ramea, we always say that Allah is Abiyasi as opposed to Rabbi Meir. Now, in Hilchus Pura Aduma, Raman there codifies the Allah that the Kohen who is <coughs> burning this Pura, you do it every single day of the seven days, like Ramea, and not like Abiyasi. Therefore, we must say, that the Ramam Paskins like Rav Chanino Skana Kehanim, the Kohen Gordel, the Kohen Kippur, he do only on the third and seventh day, because Rav Chanino Skana Kehanim said so. And Rav Yossi both feel that way, so it's two against one. By the Kippur Adumo, he passes, he codifies the Aloha every day of the seven days. The reason is that he, and since Rav Chanino have the opinion that the Paraduma person was sprayed all seven days, they put two against one against Rabbi Yossi, and the later commentaries discuss this at length. And if the seventh day or the third day happens to be on Shabbos, you don't do it on Shabbos, and therefore they would make sure to. Uh, they can start the seven days whenever they want. Therefore, they will start them off on the fourth of Shabbos in order that the third day should be should, the third day. The fourth day would be Shabbos, and the fourth day you don't have to spray. But by Yom Kippur, that it's according to the Ria, and it was by Eva Pura, you can choose what day it is. But according to the by Yom Kippur, what do you do? Uh, you can't separate on the fourth. And the Rosh points out that even though there's a rule that there's no rabbinical uh, applications that apply to the work in the Beis HaMikdosh, and therefore the fact that you don't spare a person is because you're sort of completing him, which is a rabbinical edict, and it's only Rabbonon, still you don't do it on Shabbos because Mechatos HaMetamei Tumechamura. And they, and, they, and they make it a person tummy, the person who, throw, who sprays it. And therefore, you can't bring him into the Beis Hamikdash because it's like bringing in something that's tummy into the Beis Hamikdash. And the, the Kohen Gadol is in the Beis Hamikdash. Therefore, you don't spray on the Kohen Gadol on the Beis Hamikdash.
on Shabbos. All seven days, the the Rambam says, They would make him aware of all these services. Adam, he would spray blood. The dam, or Marcus Actoros, he would bring the incense. Or Mateus Aneros, he would prepare the candelabra. Or Marcus Avoy, Tomid Alamizbeach, and he would also bring up the Avor the. Uh, Sections of the Tomit on the Mizbeach. You should know what the avoid the services on Yom Kippur. Now let's go down to the Purish. Purish. Um, the Umakti is a very Tomit is from the Mishnah Yuma. That all seven days he would spray the blood and bring the terrace and, and clean the, the candelabra and bring the head and the feet. So Jiyonzu says that the Mishnah only says the head and the feet. It doesn't mention everything. Ramam seems to mention everything. But it really means everything. What Ram writes that he should be have to, to be, he should be aware of what has to be done in Kippur. Rashi also explained that so that he should be ready for it. Because obviously he's not doing the work of the Yom Kippur. So what does it have to do with Yom Kippur? But in other words, all these other Avodot services Bring, make him more uh, more familiar and more uh, used to what he's doing. Moisel is a Zigne Bezin, and they would give him elders of the Zigne Bezin and Sanhedrin recorded on the phone up, and they would read before him and teach him. They would read from the Chumash, and they would teach him how you do it, the Sidura, and the order. As we said, the Ram says the order is, is, is impedes. And they would say to him, Ishi Kohen Godel, our master, the Kohen Godel, Kratat Befiho, say it with your mouth, Shema Shachachta, maybe you forgot, or Shema Le Lamanato, maybe you didn't learn this. As we find in Yuma, 18a, that they gave him elders of the best in the Sanhedrin, and this is what they would say. In Anavodi Yisrael, the Koshin Tzamagad, he. he points out that the Rambam changed the language a little bit of the Mishnah. Here it says, Kreon Lefonov, they read before him. And Rashi says that they were reading really Parshas Achim Mois, in Vayikra, which is, deals with the laws of Yom Kippur. The Rambam write, Umalam Dem Oisai, they teach him the service of the day and its order. That they had to teach him also the, not only Yom Kippur, but also the daily work. Why? Because from the parsha alone, you know, can't know exactly what the work of the of the Yom Kippur was, and not the order. In Yuma 32, it ex explains that the in Achimois, they're not in order the Sukim, and therefore we have this rule that the Torah is not necessarily written in order. Therefore, after you read it before uh, read the parsha, you have to tell them, but don't take it literally. You should know this is the way Chazal have it, uh, uh, accepted it from Moshe Rabbeinu at Sinai that the five immersions and the twenty and the and the ten sanctifications of the hand and the feet the Kengel had to do on Yom Kippur and that's not according to the order of the Psukim in Parshas Mois. In the work of Avodi of the Yom Kippur, the Ram writes we make him used. To the, to the work that he's doing because he certainly knows what it's been. he's here a whole year but he has to actually do it, in other words he knows what has to be done but he has to actually do it and therefore but the work of Yom Kippur says he teach him, why? because the work that he does only on Yom Kippur you have to teach him and they couldn't actually do it and what you read from a uh, Seder, you know, the Chumash, it's not enough. The Gemara in Yuma 4a, it says, they would give him two Tamin Rachomim. The Shash points out that Losh and the Mishnah in 18a, that's what it says. And the Ramah when it says he, they give him elders, it means to two Tamin Rachomim. And then they would say to him, Maybe you didn't, you forgot or you didn't learn. You more questions. 
Uh, do you step, uh, set, do you put a Kohen Godel who didn't learn? The Kohen Godel has to be the greatest among his brothers, both in strength, in looks, and in wisdom. The more answers, time of the seven, that was by the first base Amigdosh. But in the second base Amigdosh, they used to purchase the right to be a Kohen Godel. And therefore, you might be somebody who's unlearned. And there, they say it in a, in a fashion of, of uh, honor. Maybe you forgot, rather than you never learned. You don't want to say maybe you were you were an ignorant amos. And every Yom Kippur, Yom Kippurim in the on the eve of Yom Kippur in the morning, B'Sha'ar say, "I mean, I should be Sha'ay Sha'ay Hamizrach." He would place him in the Sha'ar Hamizrach, and the Mavi on the front of Purim they ate him across him. They would have passed before him bulls and rams and sheep. As we said, there were 16, or in Shabbos, there were more. Kadesh Yehogel Bavo, you should be able to know this is for that, this bull is for that. For me, this uh, aisle is for myself, as well as for the people. Rashi explains when he sees what's passing before him, he'll understand the order. You know, maybe they also brought it according to the order of the animals as they were brought, the Talmud in the morning, and then the next one, and then so they would know everything. And you have to repair the animals before. The Yemar brings a bryson. They even Seirim they brought before him. And they put more questions. Why does it mention that they bring before him the goats? It only says the it says bulls, rams, and sheep. The so Yemar says that the Tan is afraid to bring the Seirim before him. Because the Seirim were all either Khatos or to atone. And the Kohen Gadol say, wait a minute, I'm taking on this load of sins of Klai Yisrael. And he might have uh, become depressed. And uh, so the question is, why, if it's, if it's about atoning, why then the, the bull, they do show him, which the bull is for the Kohen Gadol's own sins. And the answer is that uh, and it atones for him and for his brothers, the Kahan, and because it he knows what's going on among the Kahanim, but he doesn't know what's going on in Klai Yisrael. And therefore he's afraid, he might be frightened by the onus of having to atone for so many sins. The Amam uses Lush and the Mishnah, or the only the bull, the rams, and the sheep, and doesn't mention the goats.